Good day, night, evening, whatever time it may be, ladies and gentlemen. This is Silvis. I do hope you all are well. Uh, today we're coming with a quick little video from OBS. Uh, I hit everything else. Um, to go through the voice attack software that I used for the Mouth of Mor or not the Mouth of Mordremoth, the uh, the Hearts and Minds fight. Um, when I showed that off on Reddit, it actually got a lot of traction. I thought it was pretty good. About 200 uploads. That's kind of really nice. And YouTube accepted it pretty well as well. I think it got a few thousand views last I looked at it. Give me like two seconds to check because I have not actually looked at it in a little while. But um, the support for doing the video and making it was actually really good. And I thoroughly enjoyed that. So yeah, 1.3 thousand views and it's been out for about a week. That's really cool. Uh, clicking on it... 47 upvotes to one downvote. That's really awesome. Uh, for those of you who don't know what voice attack is, it's a voice recognition software that I used to control Guild Wars 2. Um, if you guys want a quick demonstration of it, let me get over here where I'm away from somebody. So my hands are up here right now. So I'm not touching my keyboard, mouse, nothing. Run. Jump. Roll. Turn. Rise. Turn. Shroud. Right. Two. Four. Right. Right. Stop. Shroud. So some people were thinking that was a bit too much to go through with uh, having everything tied to... Um, uh, uh, having the like voice commands tied to movement and all that stuff, but I thought it'd be a challenge to do it. So I was actually asked, it's, well, some people were asking, how do you set it up and stuff like that? And today I thought we would go through it. So down there on the bottom right hand, you guys will see uh, all the commands I just gave it and voice attack running it. So we're actually going to switch modes real quick here. Let's go to display capture. And we're going to bring voice attack in. So now you're going to have two instances of voice attack up on your screen. So I will have a link to the website to download Voice Attack. Um, I use it for Elite Dangerous. That's mostly what I bought it for. And the game, the developers actually um, upload voice packs for Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. I do have two of them. I just <laughs> I'm not going to upload uh, Elite Dangerous mo uh, clips unless you guys actually want to see that kind of stuff. But I do want to show you guys how to set this up. So to set it up, you're going to have a few different things to do. So this little plus sign here, this is to set up a different profile. So you can create a new profile if you have a different game that you want to run this in. So say, okay, uh, we'll call this one just GW2 again, whatever. So with this one, we're going to add a new command. So when you do a new command, that is essentially what you say to what key you're going to press. So when I say blank, then we set up the actions. So when I say run, I want the game, which is going to be a key press, to press R. R is my auto run key. So when I say run, the game will pr the voice attack will make the game press R once for a split second. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now, if I wanted to send a command to a specific target, I can either, either have it go to my active window, which if I'm playing the game, I can have that happen, or you can set it to a very specific one, and I'm going to set it to Guild Wars 2. You're going to hit OK. So, there is the spoken command inside the game to bring up run. I'm going to click done. So now I'm on my Guild Wars 2 profile. So some of these will not work. Jump. Turn. Jump. Roll. So as you see, the game, uh, voice attack is going, add some more commands that can be recognized, right click to stop seeing this message. Whatever. But we do have the other one. Run. 
So that one did recognize. So, all of my attack skills and stuff like that are not on this profile, but I did get run and everything ready working and working perfectly fine. So we're actually going to jump back to the other one. So now we're switched back to the proper Guild Wars 2. Run. Jump. Turn. Stop. Okay. Just to make sure that was working. Now the other thing we got to show you guys is some of the other commands I do have. So I think with the free version of Voice Attack, you can have 15 commands. Obviously, I have a paid for version. Again, this is like 10, 15 bucks from their market. And once you do that, you're pretty much free to do whatever the hell you want. Um, but I got a lot of stuff set up on just this character. But now you're going to see that some of these see, uh, say, multi-part. So what that means is you can set up a bunch of different words for one action. So gather, harvest, collect, use, mine, finish, search, grab, talk, and res are all bound to my F key. So my F key is my function key. Like if I wanted to uh, arrest somebody, mine something, loot something, I would say gather whatever, and it would gather it for me. Uh, that is all bound to my F key. And the way that you guys do that is you type in what your say command is, followed by a semicolon, space, what you want your next word to be. So if you want three different words for run, you want like run, walk, whatever, um, you can set that up to run off this. So I want to gather off this Eku sapling. Gather. Okay, maybe it doesn't want to work for me. It don't like me no more, guys. Oh, I, it's because I closed it. <laughs> I thought I minimized it. Give me give it a second to open back up. There it goes. So we'll give it a second to... Da -da -da -da. Gather. Walk. Right. Run. Stop. Gather. I know so much work to go through rather than just running up and chopping the tree yourself. But this whole thing was not meant for like me to use. I'm perfectly able. I can get through the game perfectly fine myself. It takes me maybe twenty. If it takes me maybe an hour to get through Hearts and Minds instead of the two that it took through just voice attack. Uh, this is more for people who have um, like some kind of disability to where they cannot functionally play the game properly. Uh, there was one guy on the Reddit comments who was saying that he was missing a finger or two, and it made him a little bit hard to readjust where his hand was when he was playing the game and how this could help him. Um, I was thinking of someone like half coordinated from Twitch who does not have motor function on his right side, but is still perseverance that like he was able to teach himself how to play video games with only his left hand and actively speed runs. Dude's awesome if you guys have not heard of him. Uh, so this is more for them. Um, if you guys want to do it for like small menial things, freaking go for it. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, just do keep in mind that the game does uh, that. Um, the TOS for ArenaNet is one action per one key, so don't try to do weird things with it. Uh, like for me, roll is just hitting the V key. I, I don't have any inputs there. Um, I could probably set up a roll back if I wanted to, but I don't know if that would be okay, because the way that I'd probably have to do the roll back is have, like, uh, like if I was to set up rollback on this character, uh, the way that I'd probably do it is key press S, but we change it to that of a second. Key press V for, so I'm just, I'm just showing you guys what I think would happen if I was to do a roll back. I'm going to delete this right after I upload this because I don't think this is legal. But I just want to do it for demonstrations. Roll back. So that was that would be how I'd have to set it up if I was to roll backwards. 
Um, again, I don't know if that is legal because that's technically one action to two key presses. Um, I would actually have to get a hold of someone at ANET you know, to see even if, if VA is allowed. Um, but that is something that's kind of cool. Uh, from best guess, VA is technically legal inside the game because, again, one command to one button press. I don't believe I'm breaking any of my any TOS rules uh, that way. There is no way <laughs> this gives me an advantage over another player just because of the lag delay that is there. If anything, this would help other players who don't have the capability to play an MMO not as optimally as some other people. Let's just say that. Uh, if I am completely wrong, I will own up to my mistakes and I will get rid of everything that I have uh, regarding VA. But until then, I feel like this mo uh, would mostly uh, help other players, uh, especially those who uh, may struggle in some aspects of the game. Um, while other people may just see this as a nice little novelty thing they can mess around with. But yeah, I just wanted to come in and show you guys uh, voice attack, show you guys how to set up the profiles. Again, download the program, get it set up, hit the clipboard looking button to add a new command, which is your edit profile, and you can set all that stuff up. Uh, from there, uh, I do hope you guys have a little bit of fun running voice attack. I know I had a lot of fun. Uh, messing around with it, doing Voice of Mordor Mob. I do have some more VA stuff coming up uh, in the future because it is getting close to a very specific date. Uh, other than that, guys, please have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your night. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, uh, I do have a Twitch. Um, we do stream Thursday through Monday. Uh, we are playing a bunch of different games, mostly Guild Wars 2. Uh, we've been playing a lot of Destiny 2 lately, which if you guys enjoy that, you're more than welcome to come and join. Uh, just come and hang out with us. I love shooting the crap with new people love uh hanging out with everybody uh, we got a nice little small tight community that is very very helpful uh but other than that guys please have a wonderful rest of your time and we will see you in the next video please do take care later